this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. Now that was a beautiful play. A pick six. How did you punctuate something like that, partner? You mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Ampersand? I like it. Sturgis adds the PAT, and we are tied at seven. That's fielded in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Here's Mahomes now on the option right. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it, but it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one goes for 36 yards. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody who has that ability, they want them on their team. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Mahomes to throw on second down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Go, go, go. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Dancing to his left. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here, and just load up for it and see what happens. They come out here in the eye. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. From the two now, second and goal. Trying to punch it in with Fournette. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Now Mahomes eluding the pressure right. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jason Verrett. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. And they'll get it all the way up 
up about five yards shy of midfield. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. Well, they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no right, one can now, leak from the backside that can run a play down. Yeah, nobody Detroit, leaked. Big play. Hot, hot. On first down, Darnold. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. Became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And he comes back with one complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 12 yards there. The Chargers have a first down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Back now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Chargers here with a the football. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. is Hunt. Space to run past the 20. Now after the run by Hunt, here's first and 10. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. They go play action here on first down. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And right now, I take my rudimentary kindergarten skills and draw where the tackle box would be because that was close. I thought he was in the tackle box. He has to be very careful where he gets rid of the football from that spot. Yeah, they say there was a receiver in the area, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always a receiver in the area. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And oh, he's gonna be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is gonna get him a first down. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't wanna throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it, I had to. And now it's first and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal Watch foul yardage. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. They'll try to run with Hines. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Hey, 
Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. He'll get it up the middle. And he will get in across the chalk for a Chargers touchdown. Naeem Hines, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers are able to strike for six. Sturgis for the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks, and while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind <laughs> or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Mahomes will try again on second down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. So negative yardage, a loss of three on second down, and that leads to a tough third down call. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And this is recovered by the Chargers. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free. Anything you can do to slow them down. Chargers in good field position to start out. First and ten. So following the fumble recovery, here's Darnold. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's got this down to the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one. And a Charger first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On first and 10, Darnold. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Darnold from the gun. And he's going to go down again. Yannick Ngakwe, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. They'll run it now out of the gun, and that play will go nowhere, losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be fourth down. On oh, now, Kayser, the punter, sending it away. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Jaguars offense now heads back onto the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. And say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Mahomes now on first down. Flush to his right. 
He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Mahomes now to throw. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it'll bring up a second down. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. A handoff to Fournette. And shedding through the tackle. Fournette fighting through. And he's got some space here. Touchdown, Jaguars. A big play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. Pass the 20. And how about that return as he's all the way inside the 20-yard line. And that's the type of return that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense now. They've got to go out on the field almost like it's a sudden change, almost like it's a turnover. Maybe I'd go out there and try and stop them. But boy, what a tough spot they're in. Darnold on first down. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. A minute 57 to go in this first half. We'll come back to Southern California after this. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Darnold now to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, and it's third down. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Faking the give, Darnold. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Calais Campbell. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And Sturgis able to knock it through. And they take a 17-14 lead. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right? As he's watching that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in. And had just enough to get it done. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. D.D. Westbrook, his intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Left, 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 left. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Now the Jags are moving quickly in the hurry up. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. And now the Chargers are going to signal for another timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Take it in at the 22. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Detroit, Run Detroit. your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Over the middle, he's got Tyrell Williams. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. He got 29 yards that time. This quarterback now, 6 of 10 in this first town. He's got his guys a first down here. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. The shotgun snap for Darnold. Henry's got it out on the left side. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size, can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! Go on, go on! Go on, go on! A first down throw, Darnold. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Dante Fowler in there to sack him, and that is 10 for him now right, on now, the year. Six, Sacks a growing six. theme Number. in this first Number. half. This is second and long. Hey, hey, hey. Darnold going deep here for Allen, and this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey, and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Allen, the intended receiver. This defense had three interceptions last week. They're on pace for more than that here. Two in the first half. Do not adjust your set. This is not instant replay. <laughs> this is a defense that is locked in. They're essentially running the routes for the receivers and turning them into the receivers themselves, aren't they? I mean, it is amazing what I'm seeing because the reactions of those guys back on the back seven, phenomenal. First and ten, here's Mahomes. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. He's going to air one out. And that is incomplete. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. <laughs> And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy Detroit! talking about Detroit! one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had the ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? 
you adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Here's Darnold now on second down. And incomplete here. So a little razzle-dazzle on that one. But they couldn't hook up, and it's third down. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. And it's third and short. spin move allows him to pick up the first before he's brought down seven yards there good enough to move the sticks now a play fake here on first down Allen has it, left side. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. So second in inches after that first down completion right, now, went just shy of the marker. Here's Darnold. Jennifer's running back, and he's got it complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that's going to bring up a third down. Detroit! Detroit! Back to throw, Darnold. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That'll put him right at 99 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Mahomes now 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. They go play fake. Mahomes. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 18 yards on each of the last two plays, and they're picking up big chunks now. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he rifles one incomplete. Trying to get it there to D.D. Westbrook. Third down here. 
I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game, and I will guarantee you, in the huddle, on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking about is, we've got this guy right where we want him. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge, and they missed a golden opportunity. This will be caught at about the five, and he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So now he's equaled his interception total from a week ago. Remember, Charles, he had three last week. And you know, all week long, he vowed to take that number down. Told the guys on the team, don't worry, things are going to pick up. I've got this. But he is in a major league rut right now. Let's see if his teammates can pick him up along the way. You're right. He talked about being cool, calm, collective, rebounding. Not rebounding right here. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The Chargers on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. Single, 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 single. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And it's complete, Henry. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route, it's extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, right, tight ends are being treated like wide 56. receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. This is Hines. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. He's got to to a really nice game. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands and let him work his way upfield with a catch. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Over, 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 over! Now movement up front, I think they're gonna get one of the Charger linemen. That's going to set him back five yards. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Over, 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 over! Ah! Here's Hines. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. It'll be a gain of 11, and it'll make it a second down. Darnold. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. A.J. Boye with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. Left, 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 left. 
They begin with a run by Fournette. And not much there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. Credit the tackle there to Uchenna Nuosu. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect really as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Back now at the StubHub Center in Carson. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. The Jaguars on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and nine. Back near his goal line. Here's Mahomes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and ten. Mahomes now on first down. And this one is incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came off a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep. Hoping to catch him on their heels. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. Steps away to his left. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide-open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little game there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he's taken down all the way inside the LA 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes, and they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. <laughs> Mahomes going to throw. Sharks got it, left side. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. DJ Shark, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Jaguars have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. 
And the Chargers coming out of the field now. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback. Right, now, the number sack. four is look kind of, oh, you're like, sack. oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. And they're able to get this one across the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Darnold from the gun. Allen's got it complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A gain of six there on first. One of the selling points at the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now it's Donald. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And that one results in 35 yards. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Throwing again is Darnold. Throw right side complete to Williams. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Tyrell Williams, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Sturgis adds the PAT, and that gives him a three-point lead. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. That's fielded in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Black 58 rail! Black 58 rail! Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Casey Hayward makes the tackle. Well, at least he was able to break that initial contact, or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allowed the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And complete over the middle, Safarian Jenkins. And he'll be taken down deep into Charger territory. A big third down play there for the Jags. 44 yards. for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Well, we had a number of good games in the afternoon sessions, but this Sunday nighter might top them all. So we come up here on first and ten. On play action, it's Mahomes. Flushed out right, and he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. I see you nodding your head up and down. It's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them, or do you decide to throw the ball here? The Jaguars on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and 11. They'll run it now, out of the gun. He will push his way down to about the 14. And now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And his kick is right there. It's good. And with a little more than a minute to go, we are all tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. The Charger offense making their way back out there. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Here's Darnold. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. A gain of 32 that time. Would be a long field goal try from here as they try to hustle to the line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. Pardon, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. As he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. He hasn't missed a kick all year. Why would he start now? <laughs> That's a great question, isn't it? Well, maybe because that was the most nerve-wracking kick he had to attempt all year, but he knocked it through just like it was an easy chip shot. The Jaguars getting set to go. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. Hey, 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 Think about hey, the 2015. Hey, hey. Didn't we see Green Bay pull that off yep, twice absolutely. in the season? Once in the regular season, once in the playoffs. So stranger things have happened. It'd be interesting to see what the defensive strategy is about who they put on the field to try and knock that ball away. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the home team here, the win gets them back over 500 at five and four on the year. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Good night, everybody.